A little news about Germany. I read an article in the Macronom online newspaper. A certain university professor from Düsseldorf with the name of Jens Udekum, or how it was. Um, the important thing is just that he wrote a pretty devastating piece about the current financial situation in Germany. Just in short, Germany is saving itself into the grave. He was analyzing with his professor colleagues uh, the situation in Germany, the financial one, and came to the conclusion that in the regions with a lot of people, the financial uh, financial were just going into the drain and where they were just building more and more credits and taking on more credits and then therefore also having to pay back more and more credit. The thing is, what you saw is that those areas have very many people there. They now have not so much money. Therefore, all the schools are getting broken. They have uh, yeah, broken bathrooms and no money to buy new chairs and furniture and uh, the paint is going broke. And outside of the schools, uh, the streets are all broken. The, the bridges are yeah, on the way to get destroyed and the public baths, the, the public baths they don't have any money more anymore so they can't be running anymore so they have to be closed down no chance to get uh, a nice bath in summer with a, a cheap entry fee the private walls are probably still open if they can still make some money the problem is just that they also have a lot of unemployed people that live on social benefits that don't get a job and to get money in for those areas, they then also increase taxes and yeah, are with their hands in the tech in the pockets of everyone that can't leave the area, businesses and citizens alike. So how does this all go together? Well, he analyzed it or yeah, came to the conclusion just to be short is that it started not with the local government he said that we're just spending too much and that we're just yeah building stupid buildings and uh, building prestige projects and we're wasteful with the money well what he saw what, what the explanation was that back then there was the industries with um what was it some shoe industry or cotton and other industries that couldn't compete with the sudden surge of Chinese industries. They were outcompeted completely. So people were losing their jobs and that those areas where you have a lot of people work in those factories and then they come onto the social benefits and get paid for being unemployed and how it's then as long as they get paid they lack the incentive to look for a job and then it's also very difficult because businesses are closing and then start the cycle so they are on social benefits so more and more people need to get paid by the local government this then turns into that the government itself has only limited funds it has to bring in the money for everything itself it can't really go to the big buckets of other countries or other sources or has to um, tap into other sources so they mostly have to rely on the financials themselves so they pay a lot of money on social benefits and unemployed people then the result is they have to take in more taxes so they have to increase taxes this is then of course also a nice reason for businesses to leave the area again and go somewhere else where it's not so expensive where they don't have to pay so much on top of that you have then also less money for roads and infrastructure the trains and um, the buses trains are mostly from the Deutsche Bahn and so maybe the trams or metros 
whatever is around there. You have the buses, of course, or the streets. So that goes all then down the drain. The buses are not driving anymore. You have broken roads. Nobody really wants to live there and companies, they can't really trust on everything they have then their people their uh, employees having trouble they are living on the street infrastructure so they maybe want to leave too so they have less companies than in the area which means of course also more unemployed people people leaving their losing their jobs and that then leads again to more people on benefits which means then that they have to get more money from the state and the state then having to spend a bigger proportion again on unemployed people losing this money cannot invest and yeah so what's the solution for that uh, with a current policy right now in germany they all propagandize the black the black zero on the bill they want to they want um, to have to make own. We don't want to do any any um, credits. We don't want to lose any money. We need to save money, so they can't invest anything. It means also that the money goes directly out the window that they have, and they can't really look into profits. And yeah, they have the trouble now. They spending all the money and yeah i mean the professor then of course um comes with solutions with solidarity and giving back the financial um yeah as if i understand correctly the the solution was to get rid of uh, those those uh debts from from the country and then giving back the possibility for the smaller governments that they don't have to pay so much anymore and because yeah the salute the, the reason for the step was not the fault of the little governments it was just this unfortunate situation that people were losing many jobs all of a sudden and then they couldn't really do anything they had to suddenly spend a lot of money and were not getting much in but yeah, you can probably imagine that it's also a big part of very short-sighted planning out of those governments. They could have gotten strong into increasing alternative for the jobs, making it easier to get a job, making it easier to start a business. And of course, if you pay people to be unemployed, then they won't start a business and get to all these risks. So that's then a counterintuitive attention, counterintuitive incentive to actually get get people off this. And as long as the government is continuing with this, sadly, and the people that live on this, yeah, they have no chance to get out of that and they have no support to go because the more they have to pay and the more the money they get the more money the government has to get in and the more it is taking out of the pockets out of people that try to get out of this is like a bucket of lobsters those that try to climb out of it it just gets harder and harder the government is gen coming and ah, you don't make any profits so um, you probably don't take it serious you have to close your business you have to follow all those regulations and of course you have to pay the minimum wage and all this is making it difficult to get out of this so you rather stay on social benefits and the, the government will just come and increase their debts yeah so for the people that are living there i can definitely recommend going to another area looking for a job outside of this place or maybe live on social benefits and then you make like a small job on the side see that you get like a second leg out there that you are not dependent on the social benefits not for the financial reason 
but because for the reason that you want to increase your strength, your ability to support yourself and that you can say that you do something with your life. And yeah, I hope that the people there at least get out of it. But for the government uh, in this area, it's just a little view to the future of the rest of Germany, I guess. Increasing taxes, leading to less businesses that want to be in Germany itself, so they will leave, which leads to less money into the pockets of governments, and they don't have to have any incentive to actually care about, to do the balance, to save money, more importantly, or to get rid of spending spending um, areas. So yeah just for the people that live there and that live in germany itself take care of yourself make sure that you are not dependent on anyone make sure that you increase your ability to earn money for yourself and that you are safe and try to build up your own safety net on top of whatever you have right now because it's important that you prosper and that you have an ability to bring out your purpose. Okay, that's all. Goodbye.